Hi Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. Um, thank you for being here. If you enjoy this content, please feel free to leave behind a like or a subscribe. Otherwise, let's get straight into it and see how your person is feeling about you. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the month of June. Okay, the theme here, meditation and contemplation, new moon in Pisces. Okay, this is a very deep, um, very real and very raw emotions that they're feeling right now. Okay, Pisceans are extremely sensitive. Okay, they're very intuitive. And when they feel things, they often feel it on a level that's unprecedented amongst the zodiac. So what you have here is someone contemplating their deepest, darkest feelings for you, okay? They're thinking about you a lot. They're reconnecting with you. They're intuitively connecting with you. They're sensing things about you. Um, it can often represent that someone is really um, inspired by you. There might even be some vagueness or confusion to this person and their feelings during the time of June. And I think this is why they're trying to sit back and contemplate their feelings to help better understand how it is that they feel about you. There's definitely someone that's fantasizing a lot about you, okay? The Pisces is called the dreamer in the Zodiac because of their ability to tell stories, to imagine, to create, to envision, to bring, bring these stories to the forefront. There's definitely someone fantasizing about you, okay, in a very serious way. They're either dreaming about you, the two of you might even be dreaming about each other, uh, Sagittarius. Um, you might be connecting on a very intuitive level here, on a very intuitive frequency. Um, new moons are new starts, so previously if you felt that this person hasn't been very deep or hasn't been connecting with you spiritually, this is about to come to a change in the month of June. Um, it is an idealism. It's hopeless romanticism here as well. Uh, someone is trying to seek the truth and not hold back their feelings. I definitely feel someone is out there feeling like a situation between the two of you has healed and is better for um, is ready for improvement. So a very strong emotional connection. But they're thinking about you a lot. In fact, you're taking up a lot of their focus, Sagittarius. They're very distracted and it's it's by you, whether you're um, aiming to do this on purpose or not. Okay, you've got the Hermit, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords with the Two of Swords. Okay, let's look to the left-hand side here, the Hermit underneath. Could be a Virgo happening here. Um, Virgo coming up for some of you dealing with someone under a Virgo sun, moon, rising Venus, perhaps. The hermit um, can need time away. Someone might be analyzing a situation here, but it's not only a mental analyzing um, that's happening here. It's definitely emotional as well. Someone needs time to think. The guardian, um, the hermit is the guardian here, and he has all the time in the world to think and assess his feelings. But he's also very guarded and protected here. There's someone that's guarding potentially their feelings, okay? They're fearful of letting it be known just how deeply they're feeling for you, Sagittarius. Maybe they're a little bit unsure, okay? Maybe these all these new feelings that are rushing in around you around the time of June has them a little bit fearful, okay? The hermit isn't overly confident, they like to dwell alone. They like their thoughts to be their own. They don't like to share or express their thoughts. So to really gauge how one is feeling, Sagittarius, it's going to come through emotions, not words. This person will hide their words, hiding how they really feel. Okay, I, this is what I'm getting from this person. The hermit can also be self-critical behavior. So there might be someone thinking they're not good enough for you. Or they might be looking at all the ways your relationship hasn't been going smoothly in the past month or in the upcoming month. It is a period of quiet reflection and I definitely feel someone is, you know, having that really contemplating and thinking and, and uh, you know, that idealism, that fantasy, that's really heightened. Fantasies are heightened about you, this person, okay? Um... 
and it could even be unrealistic sometimes piscean energy pisceans can be a tad unrealistic god love them it helps their ability to be this amazing storytellers they are and the creative people they are but oftentimes it can be their biggest downfall because they'll always think about something well perhaps not always but sometimes they'll think about something and never really act on it it's an idealism it's something that they keep in their fantasies for others i do see someone making the initial approach which is very nice to see could definitely be an earth sign a taurus a virgo or a capricorn but even if they're not an earth sign what this goes to show is that the ace of pentacles is someone's wanting to give you a golden offer you can see this large pentacle almost resembling the sun it is the star of creation so they're wanting to create a fantasy with you or they want you to be a part of the fantasy the dream the vision that they've had in their love lives they definitely want you to be a part of that for some of you that are interested in this person they've been sitting on approaching you for quite some time june could very much be the month where that happens where the two of you will cross a threshold here notice this garden path with the beautiful archway it looks very inviting i do believe some of you will be receiving some sort of invitation it might be a date it might be an offer of love it might be words it might be an invitation to experience something quite different between the two of you maybe make your relationship more interesting maybe spice things up a little bit in the bedroom but I feel like you're crossing a threshold or someone's ready to walk through there um, and on to the next step. For some of you, it can involve something to do with the financial realm. Merging joints, uh, merging accounts, uh, joining accounts, buying a home, leasing a home. You know, putting in the money to adhere to the fantasies that this person has, which is, I want to be serious. I want to move in. I want to make this solidified in the physical realm. On the other side of the spectrum, this person might not be overly vocal about what it is that they want. The Page of Swords is here. Now, the Page of Swords looks back, not very confident in the future, uncertain about the future, perhaps even a little bit intimidated by the future there might be someone feeling a little bit intimidated by you in the month of june the page of swords also looks back to the past now pisceans can be very nostalgic and um, sensitive um, emotionally linked to the past in some way um, i feel like this might be an x coming through for some of you okay could be an air sign could even be the virgo someone may be ruled under the planet Mercury, which would be a Gemini or Virgo. Look, it can be any sign really, but this person is thinking about you. They're actually thinking about you more and more. So some of you might be hearing from an ex-lover um, or someone that you've had an emotional past with. And this person will be wanting to reconnect in some way or maybe give you some sort of invitation here. But they're thinking about you. Or they might start to have feelings out of the blue maybe they've seen a picture about you they've heard about you or maybe they're just nostalgic and miss you but i feel for some of you this is the case now if you aren't dealing with an ex-lover or an ex-partner that will come into the picture i do believe that the page of swords can show someone that's not very confident in pressing forward with the physical now this could be two different people here for some of you or there could only be bits and pieces that resonate with your current situation but what I sense here with the Page of Swords is that this person is not feeling very confident to talk to you about these things. Maybe they do want these physical things. Maybe they do want that change. Maybe they have been fantasizing it for quite some time, but they don't know. They can't find the words to approach you or they can't find the words to approach the subject matter. Okay, They're not very articulate. The Page of Swords has a strong nervous energy or anxious energy around him. So someone might feel a little bit anxious, self-critical, okay? Virgos are known to have anxious tendencies because they're heavy analytical signs. They absorb and pick up every single detail which sends their mind in overdrive. So I'm not sure if this person is coming through with this type of energy, but I feel as someone is not feeling very confident to talk to you about something. Um, it's almost like they want to leave it a fantasy for now. Because for some, this person is completely blocking away um, 
completely saying no or shutting the conversation down, you might find that if you're the one that initiates a conversation about your future Sagittarius, you might feel like this person shuts you down in a way or there's just no getting through to them, okay? You might find that they're not being very receptive. Like it might even be talking to a brick wall because you're not getting much in response. And that can be a little bit frustrating for you in the upcoming month. There's also someone here with a that, that might be in two minds, okay? Two of swords might even be um, ultimatums, um, being in two minds, having your guard up, having your swords up. Two options. Someone might be feeling like they're just another option to you, okay? So if you do have multiple people that are interested in you, Sagittarius, there is someone around you that feels, feels like... They're just another option okay that maybe that's why they haven't approached you yet because they feel hindered they feel blocked maybe they feel they've tried to approach you and you've blocked the conversation here but for some reason they've got the blindfold on with their swords up so for some reason they feel like their efforts haven't been noticed haven't been taken seriously um, or that they just feel like they're just one of many to you and maybe that's a, quite a disheartening energy and that's where the self-critical energy is coming from. Or they've given you this invitation or they've thought about this invitation. They've dwelt on it quite some time, but they're nervous. They're nervous to approach. They're nervous to initiate. I definitely feel like some of you may struggle in your communication with a loved one in the upcoming month, okay? I feel like they could be going through some sort of funk here. Um... Piscean energy can be fickle. It's very, it's wrapped up in something very emotionally. Um, what I like is that they are, it, it, a new moon is indicative of a new start. So I do sense that if this person is feeling this way during the time of June, then that new moon energy, possibly even around the new moon in the upcoming month of June, but um, newness, new beginnings, new chapters lie ahead, okay? So new, and because it's Piscean, it's new uh, Piscean energy, it's new feelings that will inundate this person, perhaps even overwhelm this person to the point where they can't freely express themselves. Cancer Moon is here. Cancer also is the past. This person might have been burnt in the past and they're afraid to move forward. They might be thinking about how they've been hurt in the past, okay? They're still emotionally sensitive about that, and maybe that's why they haven't moved forward. Maybe that invitation hasn't been presented to you yet because this person wants to release past pains or is just feeling very scarred or burnt or affected by what has happened to them, maybe with you in the past. Maybe this is something the two of you both encountered. Perhaps this was something that happened with someone else in their life, someone else that was romantically linked to them. Um, but look, I will leave it at that, uh, Sagittarius. I hope this reading has been insightful. 